Live at four, it's offer review, and we're gonna give my initial thoughts on this battle pass system. But before we talk about this, everybody's asking, where is the sim blitz? And the answer to the question is was answered by Zeke's right here. She says that it will be live with the next blitz. So we're gonna have the sim blitz available to us when Yellow Jacket starts, which will be on Thursday. Now that being said, what do you guys think about this battle pass system? I and mean, uh, let me just explain what we have right here is that it says upgrade to premium. So there's a free track, then there is unlock premium rewards, which is the second track. We'll go over the rewards for that. And then you can move forward 30 of the 100 slots for another 20 bucks. So this is my suggestion for right now. Let's take a look at this right here. It says available for 23 days. I believe it's probably gonna be for the full 28 days that is running. I believe this is just in the month but you have at least at least 23 days to, to make a decision on this. I think most people should wait and see on this. Most people should wait and see if this is gonna be worth it or not, right? Just wait and see. That being said, is the $20 worth it? Well, I don't think there's a lot of enthusiasm to this right now. And um, the main thing is this, Battle Pass, this whole game mode is not good if matchmaking is trash, poor matchmaking, or if it takes a long time to match. Now, it's just the first day, but in my opinion, my experience with this, the first day is not good. Reminix asked me, he says, even if it was matchmaking working correctly, is it fun? I'm finding that I go into a match and I'm like, what? I, I either... I know I can win easily and I put it on auto. -ly. I know I'm going to lose automatically, so I just put it on auto. Or that one in three or four attempts where it's like, oh, I think I can win if I play correctly, doesn't really happen. It doesn't really happen. So I don't know. I don't know. The jury is out. Probably going to have to make a second video about this, but this is literally just my initial thoughts on this game mode and the battle pass system. Now, let's talk about the value. If Is, is this worth 20 bucks? Is it worth... I'm not going to go to this. I actually don't think I don't think anybody needs to make a decision on that because, and I don't think anybody needs to buy this right now because you can wait. But let's just talk about the value. And I got to give a shout out to Yule Tide Bringer, Battle Pass Rewards. So for twenty bucks, what do you get? What do you get? You get five hundred power cores, right? You get a bunch of ABCs. You get one hundred and forty-four ABCs. That's probably so. Five hundred power cores is worth what? Mm, seven bucks, eight bucks, one hundred and forty-four ABCs. Boy, that's worth quite a bit right there, right? That is worth quite a bit right there. It's probably worth $10, $15 right there. These are more purple pieces right there. 55, 55 Zemo shards, I need those. Plus you get 45 over here on the free side. See, this is all the free stuff. See, that's the main thing too, is if you don't like this, you don't have to play it. Or if you do like it and you don't wanna spend, you're still gonna get a lot of free stuff. And then when it gets towards the end, you're gonna say, boy, if I spend 20 bucks, I'm gonna get this, this, and this, and this, and this. You're going to get a whole, some T3s, you get some SBCs, and you're going to get a total of, well, well, this is the thing, is I think it's glitched. In-game notification said it needed six, that there was going to be 60 gear 15s, and we only added up 54, so it might be wrong in-game. Uh, but very little, I mean, it's kind of, kind of terrible, but very little, uh, very little, gold and silver promotion credits no gold at all which just blows my mind there's no gold in this whatsoever but is it worth 20 bucks and and how much time do you have to play it every day it looks like you're going to have to play it probably about 30 minutes a day is it worth 20 bucks for me it is and I, and the, the reason why it's worth with it's worth uh 20 bucks easily for me is because of the 15s 54 or 60 uh, 15s, depending however it sells out, is clearly worth it. 500 power cores, a bunch of purple gear, a bunch of gold gear, some 14s, some training materials. Yeah, it's worth 20 bucks. Now, the question that I have is, why is it that some people have to do like these weekly challenges and, uh, and you have to use Doc Ock, right? But then they don't even have Doc Ock unlocked. Now, Verandius also can't... No, no, this was Yuletide Bringer. Yuletide Bringer also... Uh, did this and he said it's actually pretty easy to get to the max. So you only need 25,000 points to max this out, right? 25,000 points to max this out. But if you added up all the daily and the weekly milestones, there's a total of 41,000 available. You can literally ignore 
these character things, like the weekly character things, like right now, and everybody's got a different one, right? For right now, for me, I've got um, Swarm, and I don't really have my Swarm upgraded. I'm pretty sure I could just skip Swarm and not even bother playing with Swarm at all. Like zero. I think I'm gonna, I, actually I'm gonna do it, just to prove a point. Not gonna even bother with this character Swarm thing. I'm just gonna ignore it altogether because this that's only counts for, for 225 points. Okay, fine. And there's some ions, but it doesn't really count for much, man. I can I can get it in all these other places. In fact, if I just do the daily activities, which took me less than 30 minutes, but I had trash matchmaking today, kept airing out, but that gives me like 18,000. So I, I don't know if this even matters right here, having, you know, having Swarm or Doc Ock or whatever yours is. I don't think it really matters. It's pretty easy to do, but I want to also show you what I hold twitch and it's kind of interesting battle pass worth it now this is uh twitch poll twitch chat so twitch polls so it's not scientific it's I, I the reason why i say it's not scientific because people inside of twitch i'm finding are highly engaged i mean they're the most passionate of passionate people are on twitch right so i don't know if this is going to reflect like the whole entire player base people on twitch are hardcore right is it worth it okay so i think it came back to like 68 percent said nope and I think you can wait and see. I mean, you have at least, from what I can see, at least 23 days to figure it out, right? And then some people says, and I got to keep in mind that for me, the reason why it was worth it is for this, this part right here, for this 24% right here. Yes, I care about the T15s. The T15s are the pieces basically needed to get into Dark Dimension 4. I'm going to tell you this. I'm in that 24%, and I also believe that the people that care about these, these 15s this 24% over here would have bought it at any price, not any price, but much higher prices, right? They don't even care about playing the game. They just want to buy everything. I'm, I, they want to just get it. Like for me, I want to make videos. I want to get in Dark Dimension 4. Those 56 or whatever it is, 54 or 60 T15s are so valuable for me to get into DD4, to get Doom and all that stuff that I, I just got to do it, right? What bothers me is this last number down here of people that don't care about the 15s that are just doing it for the power cores or the purple gear and the, 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 the orange gear and the extra 55 Zemo only makes up 8%. I, I mean, I was under a different perspective, perspective on this battle pass. I got this idea that it's like, oh, this is gonna be like the best value. Everybody's gonna buy it. And people are like, I mm, wish it was 10 bucks. I wish it had better rewards. I wish it had gold. You know, there's a lot of stuff and it's like, well, I mean, cause, cause I'm going to, I'm going to say this, the people that care about 15s probably would have spent more because those, uh, those 56 or 54 or 60 15s is probably worth 50 bucks to a lot of people. Right. I'm just saying, or maybe even more. And you know, so you, these 20, this 24% would have bought it no matter what people that don't care about 15s is very, that's the smallest number on this sheet. And where 68% of the people are just like, eh. So, so far to me, this is kind of a failure. It really is. Uh, I just think it's kind of a failure. So, um, I will have more thoughts about Battle Pass as it goes on. You know, is it fun? Is it achievable? Is it worth the 20 bucks? Do I like playing it every day? All of those questions will probably be a separate video, but it's only been out for a couple hours. And frankly, matchmaking will make or break this game mode for me. 100%. Is it going to take a long time? Are the matches going to be fair? Is it fun? Right now, it, <laughs> boy, boy, oh man. But anyways, the, the moral of all of my rant right here, 20 bucks, you can wait and see, wait and see. And then when you get to the end of the, the period, you can buy it or not buy it. And then you can decide if the value is there for you. So you really can wait and see. Let's get to offer review. Now, um, Let's, uh, we're going to skip through a lot of these because uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. But we got Minerva. This pack we've talked about for a couple days in a row. I think this is probably one of the best deals we've had a long time because, you know, Minerva is amazing. People will probably buy this 100 shards just for 25 bucks, just for Minerva. Captain Marvel's quite good. Uh, this guy right here, Korath, actually, he's he'll help you inside of the payday event, right? We got Ronan, help you unlock, not Nobu, but Phoenix. This guy right here will help you unlock... Nick Fury, there's a lot of value here. 500 character shards, and, and two of them are quite amazing characters. Now, this doesn't help my roster, so I'm not going to buy it, but I think this is one of the better values I've seen in a minute as far as Marvel Strike Force goes. Let's go down here. 
crowd pleaser orb. All right, so this guy is a a campaign event character, so that's going to be the most free to play friendly way of getting a character is the campaign event. And so uh, I bought this to get him early and get it started. I'm personally targeting him for five gold stars and four red stars. We'll see what happened. I, I have not been able to get the red stars on him yet, but uh, because he's campaign energy, I just bought one pack to get him upgraded, get him started, make a video about him, look at his animations, test him out for you guys. You know how the deal. But anyways, uh, I think most people don't need to buy this because uh, campaign event cam event campaign characters is going to be the best free to play one for most people. All right. So anyways, catalyst bundle. No, this is not a good deal. Again, I think there was more of these available in the battle pass. I mean, a lot of these available on the $20 battle pass, you know, so then, you know, the battle pass does make sense from a value point. I don't recommend buying these unless you get at least 100 for $10, 10 cents a piece. So anyways, we're going to move on from that. Shatterstar gold. Okay, so this is not a good deal, but I'm going to buy this because I'm so gold starved right now. You got you got three gold orbs at $2 a piece worth six bucks, another 200K. So that this is at best worth about $8 in value, but I just need gold. It's just that simple. I need to conserve it. Uh, I'm just worried about my gold right now. Um, I need to start spending less than a million a day uh, for me. I guess I get like about 1.4 million a day so I, I can you know have some discipline but i'm i'm just upgrading too many characters i'm only trying to take two characters up a day uh you know like right now taking them from like 77 to 78 i'm at level 78 but anyways not a good value but it is what it is shatterstar gear uh again the problem with this is that you're not going to need all of these pieces so click on each individual one and see where you're at and if you need these if you need all four of these and that would add up to 10 cents a piece. But my guess is that you probably only need two or three of these or maybe even one of these. And so it doesn't really add up to $10. Or if you're just anxious to get him up and running, uh, then, then the value's there. But I'm not going to buy it. I'm not really buying purple gear. At best right here, this is worth uh, training materials worth $2 a piece. So that's six bucks. And then we got another two bucks. That adds up to $8. It uh, doesn't quite add up to 10 bucks. Uh, I'm good on training materials myself. So let's move on. Okay, so... Again, same thing. I mean, purple. I'm not buying purple gear, but if you're buying purple gear, uh, the right price to buy it is at under 10 cents a piece. Uh, my experience with these pieces is that usually I have way too many of these. Look at that, 1,400 of these. I, you know, 400 of those. I seem to need a lot of these health ones, 227. But it's just, uh, you know, if if you need these pieces, but I'm gonna guess that you probably only need four out of the five, and then you know that at best adds up to ten dollars of value. Even if you needed all five, it's only um uh, $12 value. So I'm not going to be recommending this. Limited time sale. This is good if you're pushing for level 80. I did the math and for me, uh the real choke point is going to be the 15s rather than the energy and getting up to level 80. So I'm not going for this at this time. Exclusive offer at best premium orbs are worth uh $1 a piece. And then you got two bucks for a gold orb. So this adds up to three bucks, doesn't quite add up to four bucks. Uh, no, 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 no. This, this is not a good deal. Not a good deal at all. Also, uh, this is just not a, this is absolutely horrible, uh, pricing, frankly, all this superior gear. All right. Let's talk about locks of terror offer. Um, I'm not going to be buying this because I've already got scream into six star land. So there's no reason for this. This is the most expensive pricing. Uh, four characters, 50 character shards for $30. Scream is not currently farmable. Uh, if you, Scream is squishy, and so I could see people buying this just to upgrade their Scream a little bit. I'm not going to be buying this because I've already got her in six stars, and I find when I get a character to six stars, I'm kind of done. I'll just let them get to seven stars someday. Uh, in my opinion, the three main symbiotes are Carnage, Symbiote Spider-Man, and Anti-Venom, and then, uh, the second tier would be Scream and Venom. And I'm not going to get into the debate which is better, Scream or Venom, but I definitely prefer uh, the other three over Scream and Venom. Let's move on. Not recommending that. Uh, Red Stars, dude, I, I, at best there were $2 a piece. Some people don't think they're $1 a piece, but I'm not getting any value out of Red Stars, but don't buy Red Stars. I mean, even if you value these at $3 a piece, uh, it doesn't quite add up to 50 bucks. Anyways, let's move on. Carnage. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about Carnage. We talked about this yesterday. And the thing about Carnage is that he's a war store character. And so 
there is a high demand for war store currency and basically the shard the you know if you're buying carnage in the war store you're taking away from buying sif x23 mr sinister or even pyro and so this becomes a reasonable value if you look at it that way or even for me I, i'm pretty much getting the 15s i need uh out of the the war store so that's fine carnage is an important character energy iso eight energy calendar if you're refreshing the iso eights the 100s this is a good value i only go to the 50s so i'm not going to be buying this silver promotion credit offer seven days for 10 silver promotion credits so this is okay pricing we've had this for three dollars for 50 once before and then uh there's an oftentimes there's an offer that is uh 14 15 for 50 which is the same as this right here so this is okay I'm not gonna buy this. It's like a C minus offer. They've had like horrible offers. They have like 30 bucks for 50, which is not a good deal. But this falls into line to the same pricing as 50 for $15. Uh, I still think they overvalue these silver promotion credits altogether. Uh, Red Star Mega Pack, no. It was, even if I valued these at $3 a piece, this doesn't add up. Uh, I'm not buying ISO 8. Uh, I do sometimes buy ions because that's the real choke point it looks like we're getting a little bit of relief on ions through this new uh, battle pass system this new through the daily activities looks like there's a little bit of ions in there hopefully that'll help out a little bit uh again energy only if you're trying to go for 80 uh special orb draft two dollars for gold orb two dollars a piece for training orbs so that adds up to four dollars premium orbs one dollar a piece so i would not want to get buy spend three dollars and get one gold orb i don't see the value there Let's move on. Orb draft. Okay, I would not want to spend a buck and get an ability orb. To me, ability orbs have no value whatsoever. Uh, not even for like a, a player that needs purple materials. There's just very little in it. Premium orb, sure. Gold orb, sure. Basic orb, sure, but not the ability orb. So let's move on. Uh, this is not a good value. Uh, at best, this adds up to $12 a piece plus another four bucks is $16. So that doesn't even come close to 30 bucks. And I think we're at the dregs here. Oh, super orb draft. Okay, so uh, let's, let's talk about the super orb draft. Uh, gold orb, two bucks. Red star, two bucks. Premium orb, one buck. So I'd be upset if I got a premium orb for two bucks. So I'm not gonna buy that. Uh, pack of shame, get out of my face. Pack of shame. Sim blitz starts on Thursday. So I hope I never have to buy this again. I'll have enough blitz currency to never need that. All right. Let's head over to the free to play account and see what we have over there. See if we have any duplicate offers. Um, and then we'll just blast through this. And let's see here, uh, crowd pleaser. Okay, we talked, so we're only, we're gonna skip over all the duplicate orbs and only go for the orbs on this account that are different. Okay, so I bought this on my main account already because I thought it was gonna be disappearing. Uh, premium orbs worth a buck. 200 cores is probably worth a little more than two dollars maybe two and a half dollars two and a quarter so this is easily worth it two bucks for 200 cores you get a free premium orb so yes this is uh uh i bought this i already bought this but just i i bought it because i thought it was gonna expire at uh server reset let's move on and um see if we have anything different in here venom no i i see venom i think you should just get through normal means uh, if you really want to upgrade Venom, but this is probably the lowest value. This is, a, it's very different for Carnage because Carnage is in the war store, but Venom is very easy to get compared to Carnage. And I don't see the value in spending $20 for 45 Carnage shards. Yes, this is a great deal. Power Armor, 100, 400 total character shards for 20 bucks. Sure, that's a good value. Let's move on and see if we have anything else. I think we're scrolling through it. Um, I'm curious to uh, hear from people that love the bat the battle pass and the PvP system. Um, I'm not really getting a positive response to this today. And I, I for me, before I completely hate on it and say it's terrible, I want to give it a couple more days and keep trying it out a little bit longer before I. Uh, but just my initial thoughts are is it's a mixed bag. Yeah, there's some value for 20 bucks, but boy, this would be way better if it was like 10 bucks. It'd be way better if they gave a lot of gold or silver promotion credits. It'd be a lot better if they gave some T4s. It'd be a lot better if there was just gold in it. Why isn't there like 10 gold orbs? Or like every time you went, 
you know, from level one to two to three up to a hundred, you got like a hundred K gold or something. It just seems a little bit off. Let me know what you think in the comic section. I'm mostly interested in hearing from people that absolutely love this battle pass. Absolutely love the new PVP system. Put that in the comment section. I'm just not hearing it. All right, guys, let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for bar thanks for watching. Oh man, I'm, I'm sick today. Thanks for watching and keep on gaming. Something. Bye.